Hi there. This is my video response to the License Guru. Um, I saw your video um, called What Would You Do kind of really early hours of this morning. Um, and, and when I saw it, I really um, <laughs> wanted to do a video response kind of immediately. Um, but because it was half past three, I think, in the morning, uh, my husband was asleep, so I don't think he'd have, he'd have appreciated that. Um, huh, I found your video really, really interesting. Um, I mean, kind of going on the health issue things, um, I have kind of a lot of, sorry, let me just, um, I have a lot of health issues of my own. Um, I've kind of had ongoing health issues for kind of a long time, for as long as I can probably remember. Um, but everything kind of compounded when I was um, 18 years old. I had uh, um, viral meningitis for the second time. And um, after that, um, I was kind of in college at the time and I was working. Um, and then I got a, a new job. And only after a couple of months of having my new job, I was having kind of really funny pains. Um, that was suspected appendicitis. Um, so I was taken to hospital and I was kept in hospital for a week. Um, they kind of did ultrasound scans, um, kind of had a bit of a poke about, couldn't really see what was wrong. Um, and so they sent me home on, I think it was five different kind of medications um, for me to take every day for about a month, um, maybe six weeks. and. Um, one of the medicines I couldn't take because it gave me really bad chest pains. Um, but the to cut that kind of long story short, I mean, I was kind of in hospital for a week. I know that's not very long. Um, kind of discharged. They didn't really know what was wrong with me. They treated me for something that they didn't know if I had. They knew it wasn't my appendix. So I was sent home. I was taking about 26, 28 tablets a day. Um, <clears throat> I mean, ridiculous to the point that I was kind of, I would just be there, kind of shaking, you know, I could, instead of kind of just standing, I'd be kind of really shaking, you kind of probably can't really see. Um, so anyway, the, to, to cut that long story short, I kept going back to the doctors and kept saying, look, I'm having these pains, this is kind of getting worse, and they eventually did, um, an, um, exploratory operation to see if there really was anything that was kind of causing me any pain and they found that I had um, an ovarian cyst um, and that was when was that that was 2001 I didn't have the operation to remove the cyst until 2002 um, when they removed the cyst I mean cysts are something that women generally get all the time um, they just are so tiny and they kind of pop before you even know, you know, you just don't even know that they're there. Um, but by the time they removed mine, mine was about the size of a grapefruit and the surgery was kind of messed up. Um, then, kind of ever since then, I have also, it was only recently I was diagnosed as having something called ME, um, but it's also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, now, I'm only 27, um, and at the end of 2007, unfortunately I lost my job because of kind of that, but also since 2005, I have, no, 2004, sorry, December 2004, um, I have had a lot, a lot of problems with my right kidney. Um, now, I mean, I've been in and out of hospital for various different um, operations and different things they've tried to make it better. They've not been able to tell me what it is. They've kind of not been able to give me a diagnosis. <sighs> and that's really a pain um, just because at least if you know kind of what's wrong with you, you know what you're dealing with. But they, all they've told me is that, <coughs> sorry, my, my right kidney is enlarged. Um, and so since 2004, um, I have kind of had regular kind of problems with my kidneys, constant kidney infections, 
Um, and I mean, it's not just, you know, kind of a case of a touch of cystitis. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had that. If you have that in itself is really painful and uncomfortable. Um, a kidney infection when it actually, the pain is in the actual um, organ itself, seriously, chronically painful. Um, and I mean, I've, I've kind of tried to have a healthy diet. Um, I'm a vegetarian. I have been for eight years. Um, so, I mean, I don't kind of have lots of processed foods and lots of red meat and things that could kind of cause any problems there. So, I'm kind of left with various different health issues. Sorry, my mascara seems to want to keep sticking the lower lash to the top lash. Sorry there. Um, <coughs> and until I saw your video this morning, I I so didn't even think about products that I use on my body. Um, I mean, there's um, there's a brand in the UK. Sorry, I'll just grab something really quick. Sorry about that. There's um, a brand called naked um, and this is one of the styling products but it's 97% natural product um, what does it say um, that this is a botanical ingredients um, it's silicon free they are also um, paraben free sodium lauryl sulfate free um, and this is also a brand um, that I use because they don't test on animals. Um, I think it was the end of 2008. Um, I kind of stumbled across something saying to kind of boycott all these different companies um, because of the animal testing that they still do. I thought that was so a thing of the past. I really did. Um, but since I've kind of had my eyes open to the fact that that does still go on. I really try my my hardest to kind of um, find brands that don't test on animals. I mean, there are so many companies and products that have you know brilliant things and they don't test, so there's no need to anymore. Um, so okay, the what would I do? Such a tough question. Um, I mean, if it's your livelihood. Um, if it's your profession, um, it would be such a tough thing. I mean, if it was from a point of view, what would you use on yourself? You know, maybe say, um, you know, the kind of organic, no chemicals, um, all kind of the, the organic range of products. <sighs> Having said that, I'm the kind of person that if I'm not willing to use something myself I wouldn't give it to somebody else to use or I wouldn't use it on them um, it's kind of in a way if it's not good enough for me then it shouldn't be good enough for them um, it's a really really tough question um, I mean huh, I think I think I mean you know if you have um, you know, if you know of enough kind of um, healthy organic brands um, and you have the benefit of being able to kind of try and cherry pick all the products that you would like to use, then you can kind of cherry pick the best products. Um, possibly try and um, substitute as much of your makeup as you can with the good cosmetic products and kind of just have some of the kind of chemical um, products, you know, just there, uh, not as a backup, but just kind of to kind of work along and work in with your your makeup um, kit. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or if you have a comment, um, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.